Right, good afternoon everyone. Welcome back to another video. Today, you lot will be very excited to hear that I am washing, yes, you heard it, I'm gonna be cleaning the Mondeo today for the first time since owning the car. Now, I've had it for a month and for multiple reasons, I have yet to clean it. I gave the inside a clean, I gave it a hoover and like a wipe down, but it hasn't had an external clean since I've owned the car. Now, that is for a number of reasons. Number one, I'm lazy, you guys know I don't like cleaning cars. Um, so I kind of tried to leave it as long as I possibly could. And number two is that a company has sent me some products to review and I wanted the car to be as dirty as possible so that I can really put these products through their paces and see what they can do. Now the company in question is called Yum Cars Detailing. They've recently come out with their own line of products um, and they've sent them out to a bunch of YouTubers. You've probably already seen some other YouTubers do reviews on these products um, and today is my turn. Now today's review is gonna come from a cleaning amateur's perspective. I really haven't got that much experience with cleaning cars, especially when it comes to the nitty gritty details. I am the type of guy that goes out with a hose and a bucket and a sponge and just sort of washes it and gets it reasonably clean um, and that's that. But today we're gonna go a little bit further. In the box in front of me on my workbench, I have got the products in there. So I'm gonna get the stuff unboxed show you what it is show you what it can do supposedly and then we'll get to cleaning the car and see if they actually do what they say they're gonna do so this is the box right here that they've sent me the goodies in as you can see I've got a little sticker on there with yum cars correction protection and reflection they have got their own unit I can't remember where they're located I think it's somewhere up north um, but they've got a unit where they actually do detailing so if we give this an open obviously you can see I've already opened the box itself if we open it up if I get rid of this paper goodbye in here we have a little card to say what they do this is sort of a little bit more information about their business got all their information on there and then they've got a little price list of all the stuff that they do and all the prices between them i know some of these look quite expensive um, but i'm sure they really really go in depth and obviously you wouldn't have this done on just any old car it's more if you've got like a sort of supercar or or a classic car or something like that maybe you're looking to have that done every now and again so they also sent me out a sticker which i don't really like having stickers on cars but i'll find somewhere to put this uh, maybe i'll put it on the toolbox in the shed or something i don't know we'll see so that's a nice of them and then in here we have the four products that i'm going to be reviewing today on the left we have Yum Cars Car Shampoo. What's so nice about these bottles is it gives you the instructions. For someone like me that's a novice, um, instructions are always useful. So on the back it tells you exactly how to use it and exactly what to do. And then it also gives you a bit more information about the product itself. Looks good, should we give it a smell test? I guess a smell test is always good. What are the guesses? What do you think it's gonna be? Is it strawberry? I can't tell what it's supposed to be. Does it say what the scent is? No, it doesn't say what it is, but Sort of smells like raspberry. I think that's what it's supposed to be. It smells good though, like that. The second thing that we have in the box is a detail spray. Now I think this is like a quick detail. So if your car is just a little bit dirty um, or it's just got a little bit of dust on it, you can spray some of this and wipe it off. Let's just look at the instructions. Yeah, that's literally it. So if your car is just a tiny bit dirty, you just spray a little bit on, wipe it with a cloth um, and that's it. That's literally it. So it's just like a quick detail which is always nice to have. The pretty blue one is a ceramic boost. Now this is the one that they seem to hype up about the most. Um, this is what you'll put on at the end of your car. It sort of acts like a bit of a wax. A lot of you, if you're into detailing, will have already heard of like a ceramic coating, um, which is what a lot of people have on their cars, like supercars and stuff. It's meant to protect the car for longer so you don't have to wash it as much. Um, so this will be interesting to use. I've seen already seen a video. I think it was actually Yum Cars detailing video themselves where they used this. And from what I can see, it actually works really well. Um, it causes really good beading on the car which is always nice um, and that should protect it so that'll be interesting to see as well and then this one the fourth one I have actually used it as you can see we haven't got a full bottle here I recently washed the Ford Focus um, if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen it came out really nice and I want to try the wheel cleaner I'm fascinated with these wheel cleaners especially the ones that bleed out and this is a bleed out wheel cleaner um, and it done a fantastic job so I'll show you that today working on the Mondeo I don't know how well you'll be able to see it because the Mondeo wheels are black but we'll try it and that's it that's an empty box now so now along with the Yum Cars products, there's a couple of things that I'm gonna use that I would usually use while washing my car. And that is, I've just got a couple of Demon products here. Uh, I've got the Demon foam, so I'm gonna be snow foaming it. And then I've got the Demon tires, which I like to spray on my tires to make them look shiny. A Couple of little detailing brushes just to help, help clean wheels and in little uh, hard to reach areas. I've got a little clay bar as well, cause I wanna give the car a quick clay bar and um, just to get rid of any contaminants. But that is it, that is the setup right there as you see it. First things first, I'm gonna give it a quick snow foam and then we'll get to using this stuff. Before I do that though, I will just show you how dirty the car is at the minute. It's absolutely filthy. This is the bumper. I hope the camera will show what it's like. You can see just how bad that is there. 
all along the side it's pretty much the same you can see how filthy it is that's sort of like the blue color and that's what it look like. looks like down here it's disgusting and it's pretty much the same all the way around the car the front's not too bad um, but it is pretty dirty and then this side is just as bad look all that crap the wheels are pretty bad as well they sort of look gray instead of black so she's definitely in need of a good old wash I'll be the first to admit that this snow foam is not like the best stuff especially not as good as some of the stuff you can get um, but number one it smells amazing it reminds me of being in like a sweet shop as a kid it smells so good and it does do a pretty good job as you can see it is clinging to the car um, but it's not as thick as what you can get some stuff um, but this stuff's pretty reasonably priced it's like I think it's like eight pounds for this whole tub um, and I've used it like 10 times already and it's still not gone so um, it's pretty decent it does the job and um, for someone like me that barely cleans their car it works i'm going to leave that to dwell on there now for a few minutes just let it sort of uh, do its thing loosen up some of the dirt uh, i'll give it a wash off then we can get some of the young cars detailing shampoo out here um, and give it a proper wash now So after using the demon foam, this is now how the car looks. It already looks a little bit cleaner. That demon foam does do a fairly decent job. If I just come around here, the car is still wet, obviously, but you can see all the dirt that was down here, that was all brown um, at the lower part of the car, is all gone, which is nice. Um, so the car's already a lot cleaner just from that snow foam. I didn't agitate the foam at all. It was literally just a spray on, leave it for a few minutes and then spray off job. And that's currently how we're looking now. Right, so next up is shampoo stage. So we're gonna crack out the Yum Cars detailing shampoo, wherever I put it, over here. Gonna get a bucket um, and it says to pour one to two ounces of Yum Cars shampoo directly into your wash mitt or pad. Fill the bucket with three quarters of water. Pretty self-explanatory how to use shampoo. Um, just put a little bit of this in a bucket, fill it with water and wash your car with a mitt. So the mitt I've got, let me just show you quickly, is one of these uh, like bubbly ones. This sort of thing um, i'm sure there's probably better ones out there like i know you can get like lamb wool mitts and stuff like that but that's what i'm working with and i just figured i'd show you for comparison this is what i would usually use shampoo and carnauba wax um simon is stuff really cheap my biggest complaint with the stuff that i usually use um is the lack of foaminess when i wash a car i like it to be sudsy and foamy um, and it actually looks like it's got some soap on it so i'm hoping that this yum cars detailing stuff is actually going to do that and it's going to be a little bit more bubbly than what my normal stuff is so let's give us a go so we're going to go with warm water because we can i don't really want to put my hand in cold water so i'm just going to put in sort of that much? Does that look about right? Let's see how we go with that. So already look As this bucket's filling up with water, the smell that's coming from it reminds me of those little purple sweets. I think they're called like Palmer Violets that you used to have when you were younger. That's exactly what this stuff smells like. It's amazing. Right, I've got my bucket ready with my Yum Cars detailing shampoo. Let's see what this stuff can do. Some guy just went past in one of those mob mobility scooters and said, are you, are you washing your car for YouTube? I watch your channel. How strange.
right, so I've rinsed off all of the uh, Yum Cars shampoo, and this is how we're looking now. You can see I've done a pretty good job of cleaning it. The car's still wet at the minute, so it looks a bit shinier than it will do, but can you see that? It's beading a little bit already. See that? I don't know if there's something in the shampoo itself or whether this is like a coating that's already on the car. Um, but look at that beading, check that out. That's kind of cool. There you go, there's the rest of it. I'll just give you a shot from the side. My cleaning skills are not the best, I'll be completely honest. This county actually looks, it looks a lot better already. A lot better. That's the front. That headlight is really driving me crazy. It's obviously not been sealed properly and look, look at the moisture inside it. Ah, that's so annoying. Right, next on the cleaning agenda is the wheel cleaner. This stuff I'm actually really excited to show you. Um, I said before that I've used it once on the Focus um, and it did an absolutely great job. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see the bleeding out process because I've got black wheels on the Mondeo, um, but hopefully you'll be able to see it actually do its job. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray some of this on. Um, I'm probably gonna use a little brush, something like this, uh, just to agitate it because that'll give me the best results. Right, I don't know how well the camera will pick it up, but if you can see in here, the wheels are dirty, but you can see sort of like a brownish, reddish color on the inside. I think that is all the brake dust and all the iron that's on these wheels. So with any luck, what this is supposed to do is it reacts with that iron um, and sort of like turns purple, loosens up all the deposits uh, and they'll all just run off. So it says to just spray the wheel surface liberally with Yum Car's wheel cleaner. Uh, as the wheel begins to change color, agitate with a wheel brush, rinse thoroughly and dry the wheel. That's literally it. So I'm gonna give this a, a good old squirt. Watch it do its magic. Oh, it stinks, honestly. This stuff is good, but my God, it really stinks. It smells like um, like beer, like Guinness, but gone off Guinness. I posted that on my Instagram. You can sort of see it already. It's starting to change color. You see it on the disc as well in there. Straight away, it's all going purple and bleeding out. That is it reacting with all the iron on the wheel and cleaning it off. So I'm gonna give it a couple more squirts and then we'll let it to dwell for a couple of minutes. actually look kind of cool that color don't they purple purple actually goes with the blue quite well but you can see how well that's working that that purple color just indicates how well that's taken that dirt off and just a little agitation with a brush like this is all you need to get some good results I do remember that this is an honest review, so if anything goes wrong, I will tell you about it. Now, this is not something that's gone wrong. However, I do wanna just point it out to you that, remember I sprayed these down, left it a few minutes, and then I also agitated it with one of those brushes. However, even after all that, this could be down to my no good cleaning skills, um, but there is still, if it'll focus, there is still dirt on the wheel, if you see it on my finger. If I rub along the side of the spoke, it's not awful, and it might just be down to my shoddy cleaning skills, but there is still some dirt left on the wheel, so I don't know if I'm gonna have to hit these twice, maybe they were just extra dirty. Uh, bear in mind this car hasn't been cleaned in at least a month, um, so maybe they just need another going over, but for the most part, it's done a pretty good job of them. They look pretty clean. I am rather happy. I think I just maybe I missed these bits with the brush. I'm not sure. If you want to check out though how they worked on the Focus's wheels, they brought the Focus's wheels up an absolute treat. Um, they were filthy. I did exactly the same process as I've done on these wheels on the Focus and they came up an absolute treat. So if you want to check that out, make sure to follow me on Instagram. Um, and I posted a video and a picture on there so you can see that. But I'm going to do the same process to all the other three wheels. You'd have to see me do that. Um, and then we'll move on to the clay bar. So that is all four wheels cleaned. I'll just give you a quick look at them all. There's the back one, looking pretty good. Front one, which is the one that you saw me clean on camera, 
Again, looking pretty good. These wheels have been so badly painted. You can see there's been no <laughs> prep work at all pretty much on these. Um, they are going to be refurbed soon as well, so don't worry about how clean they are or how unclean they are. Um, I'm going to be painting these silver soon anyway. Around to the passenger side. Clean. And clean. Out of the Yum Car stuff that I've used so far, the wheel cleaner is definitely my favourite. Although, I have got a couple of criticisms of it. Number one is that the bottle is not big enough. Um, I've used this twice, so I've cleaned eight wheels with this. I've cleaned the Focus's wheels and now the Mondeo and I've used about half of it. You can see the bottle's about half full now. Uh, so it looks like you're only gonna be able to clean about four cars with this. I feel like I've sprayed about the right amount on the car and I've only got half the bottle left, which is kind of a bit rubbish, but um, there you go. So that is the body cleaned. That is the wheels now clean. So the next step is to move on to the clay bar. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Yum Cars detailing spray with the clay bar. I don't know if it's intended for that use, but a detail spray should be fine to use with a clay bar. Um, so I'm gonna give that a go. I'm gonna go panel by panel. Um, it is raining, I don't know if you can even see it on the camera, but it is raining today. I probably haven't picked the best day for cleaning cars, but there you go. It's probably the most tedious bit of the job. Right, before I get started, this is the detailing spray that is the white liquid. I'll just tell you the instructions as to what it says. So you can use this if your car is dry, and you can also use it if you're in the middle of washing your car like what I am. It says if it's dry, to spray mist onto the panel, wipe with a cloth, and then buff it off afterwards. That's literally as simple as it gets. That's if you want to clean off dust, um, and like really light dirt, you can use this stuff as like a really quick wash. So what I'll end up doing probably is keeping this in the boot of the Mondeo and if I um, ever want to, I can just whip it out and give the car a quick wipe instead of having to do a full on wash. And then it says if you're washing the car, so if the car is wet, you can mist each panel with the panel still being wet and then just dry it off with the cloth and then it should do the rest. Now I'm gonna use it as a clay bar lubricant. I'm not sure it's got the chemicals in there that are designed to do that, but that is what we're gonna use it for. Right, I'm gonna start with a bonnet like I usually do. I'm gonna work my way around the car. I'm literally just gonna spray this on, rub a clay bar on it, and uh, literally just go over every panel and then wipe it off afterwards. Yum cars, you've sent me out a faulty trigger. It's not working. It's on the on position. It's not doing anything. Oh wait, hang on. I've got it. I've got it working. I take that back, it does work. Now a couple of things about the detail spray already, I've noticed that it smells amazing and number two is it is actually working really well as like a lubricant for the clay bar and um, the clay bar is sliding along it lovely. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys and tell you that I clay barred the whole car because I didn't. Um, I did the worst affected areas on a car. Usually you'll get um, the worst build up on the front of the car, so the front bumper, the bonnet, and then also so along the bottom of the sides of the car as well, like where the dirt kicks up from the front wheels. Um, they are the worst affected areas and I did clay bar them. Uh, the rest of the car was actually pretty good. There wasn't a lot of dirt on the rest of the car. The previous owner was a bit of a clean freak as well. I think they did a lot of detail on this car, so it's really not that bad. The detail spray did a fantastic job. Um, it smells amazing. I can't put my finger on what it smells like. It's sort of like a perfumey smell, um, but it smells really good. The clay bar glided along the surface perfectly when that was sprayed on it um, so I'd rate it for that um, but it's not really designed for that anyway it's more for just lot, sort of like a quick clean every now and again so I'll definitely be sticking that in the boot of my car and with a, like a microfiber um, and giving my car a quick clean every now and again just to keep it up to scratch now the last thing that I have in the bundle is a ceramic boost um, but that tells you to apply it when the car is dry there's no way I'm going to dry this car today because I don't know if you can see it's raining so it's going to be forever getting it wet again so I'm going to apply it whilst it's wet um, I've seen someone on YouTube do it while it's wet. I think it was Yum Cars themselves. I've seen them apply it while it was wet and it still seemed to work okay. Um, so I'm gonna give the whole car a spritz over of that stuff um, and that should hopefully protect it. Maybe I'll give it a wipe off afterwards um, and that should protect the paint from future. If not, I'll have to do that another day um, and maybe do like a separate review on just the ceramic boost itself. But the car's looking great. The, the Mondeo has never been so clean. Felt so good to clean it today after a month of having it and not cleaning it once. Uh, the colour really pops again, that ink blue looks really good, so yeah, I'm very happy. 
very happy with the results. This is what she looks like now without the ceramic boost on. This is before application of that, but how good does the ink blue look again? I don't know how well it come across on camera, but she looks real good again. All nice and clean. You can see the reflection in the side, the Fiesta. Boom, boom, there you go. Looks good. Right, here we go, last thing of the day. Ceramic boost is gonna be going on. As I said, I'm gonna spray it on while the car is still a little bit wet. Shouldn't be a problem. Um, and then I've got a bunch of microfibers just behind me there uh, and I'll wipe it off and hopefully that'll do the job. Right, so the car has now had a coat of the ceramic boost um, and what I've done is I've wiped it off as well. I've given it a coat of ceramic boost while it's still wet, wiped it off with some microfibers and I'm going to test the bonnet because I saw a video and I think in the video they poured water onto the uh, like coated area and that coated area beaded off so the bonnet is all nice and dry as you can see this has had a coating of the ceramic boost so let's just test this and see if it does anything whatsoever. Wow, that did beat off, did you see that? Let's just do it again. The water does bead up, as you can see, and it does bead off quite effectively, actually. And let me just, I don't know if there's a, I don't think I've left a section untouched, so I can't really test another, not test another section. And again, I've coated this bit, you see it beading? That really wants to escape, that water does. They wouldn't usually do that. Well, it's done something. I don't know if I've applied it properly, but it's definitely done something. Well, what do you know? It seems like I've applied that properly because um, that's what it should do. The water should bead up and then sort of run off itself. Okay, so I'm finally done. The car is now clean. Um, so I'm gonna give you a quick walk around and show you how it got on. So this is from the back. I don't know how well the camera will do it on justice, but it's so much better so much better look how much cleaner that is you can see my reflection looking good passenger side wheels looking good down the side i apologize i can't really get any far away shots but my driveway is only small there you go she's looking good isn't she Now this is obviously not a full on detail, there's a lot more things that you could do, a lot more steps you could take to get the car to look even better. But for what I need it for and for in the winter conditions, it's only going to be dirty in a few days again anyway because of the colour of it. Um, black cars and dark cars are so hard to keep clean, it's unbelievable. Um, but for now and for tomorrow, if I want to take this to that charity car wash, it's going to look pretty good. Now, now I can't remember if I've already spoken about it in this video so far. I know I mentioned it in the last video I did when I did the exhaust on the car, um, but I'm going to a charity car wash. I will have already gone when this video goes up, um, but on Saturday the 9th, which is tomorrow for me now, I will be going to a charity car wash. And you may be wondering to yourself, why did you wash the car then if you're going to a charity car wash? I'm not actually going to get my car washed there. Um, I'm going to sort of document it. I'm going to film while I'm there, get the cars on camera. I'm going to try and get the guy that's running the thing to just explain a little bit of why they're doing it on the camera. Um, I know he's going to be busy tomorrow, so I might not get a chance to see him. But I'm going to go anyway, document it, maybe meet a few of you guys if any of you go, and just raise a bit of awareness. There is also a Just Giving page, so once I go there and you see the video um, of me there, I'll put that in the description of the video so you can see. So yeah, it should be a good day. I wanted my car to be clean, obviously, for when I get there. There's already going to be hundreds of people getting their car clean, so I probably wouldn't get a chance to get in there anyway. I want it to be clean for when I go. So that's it. That's as far as I'm going to take the cleaning today. I'm going to get the product set up. I'll give you a quick little roundup of what I think of the products, um, and then we'll end the video. Right, so with the Mondeo now clean, I'm just gonna give you a final summary of what I thought of these products. I'm not being paid to promote these, they literally just sent me them so that I could review them. I'm coming from an amateur's detailing standpoint, so I'm just comparing these to sort of like the stuff you find in supermarkets, the stuff you find in Halfords, like proper generic, um, car cleaning products is what I usually use. These are definitely a step up from them. There's no contest that the shampoo is better than the Simon is stuff I usually use. Um, there's no contest that this wheel cleaner is better than the, I don't know what one I even use. Um, I think it's the Simon is again, I use the wheel cleaner. Um, so much better. The ceramic boost actually works a treat. And all of these products are so easy to use. They're literally just a spray on job, 
and then that's it, it's done. I love that they all come with the trigger spray as well. All the trigger sprays work really well. They allow you to apply the product liberally. Um, some trigger sprays like shoot out in one stream and it's not really any good, but these ones have got a nice good mist to them. So it's easy to apply the products. And overall, I recommend them. Now, price is always important when people are buying detailing products. People don't want to be spending too much money on cleaning products, especially if you're like me and you only clean your car like once every couple of months. Um, you don't want to be spending a ton. So the Yum Car shampoo comes in at 12 pounds on Amazon. The white detail spray comes in at 13 pounds on Amazon. The Yum Car's wheel cleaner is a little bit more expensive at 16 pounds a bottle. And the Ceramic Boost is actually the most expensive that comes in at 26 pounds per bottle. Now, I don't know what goes into these products. I'm sure there's been a lot of work that's gone into these, uh, lots of tried and tested methods um, to get the right formula. However, 26 pounds for this bottle, you can see I've used half of that on one car. That might be my error, but I can't see you getting more than three or four cars out of one of those bottles of Ceramic Boost. Um, and for £26, that's a lot of money. I personally wouldn't pay that much for a Ceramic Boost, um, but some of you that love your cars, maybe you would. The other three bottles are actually fairly reasonably priced. Um, the car shampoo is pretty good. They're all around £15 or below, so you can't really argue with that. So that's going to be it. That is my fair and honest review of the Yum Cars detailing products. Let me know what you think down below of them. Would you buy them? Let me know. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe for future content. And I'll see you guys in the next one.